I just saw a movie that I had to drive and commute for nearly two hours in order to see because it was only playing at two theaters in my entire state. Thankfully, this movie was worth the trouble because Hundreds of Beavers is easily one of the funniest and most unique comedies to come out in recent years, and seeing it in a crowd was a great experience. This was the kind of movie where everyone who was in the theater was still laughing about it several minutes after it was over. The plot is simple, some dude in the 1800s wants to become a fur trapper to impress the father of a girl he likes, funny antics ensue. The real appeal of the movie is its very distinct style in terms of both presentation and comedy that, while obviously inspired by familiar filmmaking conventions, doesn't really seem to be trying to emulate any one thing. It's like a combination of a Charlie Chaplin-esque silent movie with its really creative slapstick set pieces, as well as its lack of color and, for the most part, dialogue though sometimes they'll subvert this for the sake of comedy, a Looney Tunes cartoon with its own sense of internal logic and its general disregard for physics. It even uses animation techniques like squash and stretch, but, you know, in live action. Monty Python and the Holy Grail with its rather low production value and how it constantly lampshades itself over this fact. Like, all of the animals in the movie are just people in costumes. Sometimes bits of the costumes fall off mid-take and they just leave it in the movie. At one point, there's a horse costume, and you can see the dude's head sticking out of the neck. There's another part where it's obvious they're just filming on a suburban street somewhere, even though the movie's supposed to take place on the frontier in the 1800s, but these things just add to the humor. All while frequently being a lot more crude and morbid than most of the former would usually be. Parts of the presentation even feel inspired by video games, of all things, which I never would have thought could work alongside the things I just mentioned, but somehow it does. While I feel that being familiar with the tropes of the aforementioned media does add to the experience, rest assured that it's not a barrier of entry for enjoying this movie, because it also does a good job at being those all on its own. It works as both a standalone silent comedy and a parody of silent comedies. It works both as a Looney Tunes-esque cartoon and a parody of Looney Tunes-esque cartoons. So on and so forth. What I will say is that you probably shouldn't watch inattentively, because for most of the runtime, there are a lot of jokes going on at the same time. It's actually unbelievable how many callbacks, recurring gags, reincorporations, and setups and payoffs there are to keep track of in this movie. While I've only seen it once, I imagine this is a movie that someone could watch many times and still discover new jokes that they didn't even notice on the previous watches. It's just a shame that probably not that many people are going to see this movie. Like I said, its theatrical release was really small, and while releases on VOD and physical media are supposedly confirmed, as of writing this, there's no date given. So I'm doing my part, and you should do yours as well. That's partially why I made this video, not just to give my thoughts on the movie, but to spread the word that it even exists. Go see it if you can, and if you enjoy it, spread the word. I'm fairly certain this is a movie that most everyone who sees it will like.